So now in the question number 142, we have to look for a right option with respect to the oxidative phosphorylation. Now during the breakdown of the organic substances like glucose, fatty acid, proteins, there is release of electron. Oxidation will occur which releases electron and this electron enters ETS. When the electron enters ETS, when the electron travels through the ETS, there is release of energy. There is release of energy and the energy which is released here that is used for the synthesis of ATP in the oxidative phosphorylation. So in light of this, now we can look all these three, four options here. It is formation of ATP by transfer of phosphate group from a substrate to ATP. Right, this formation of the ATP, this is only explaining phosphorylation, not oxidative phosphorylation. Uh, second option, oxidation of phosphate group in ATP, this is wrong. Addition of phosphate group to ATP, it's the addition of the phosphate group to ADP. Formation of ATP by energy released from the electron removed during substrate oxidation. So this seems to be the right option here. So the right option for this question is option number 4. So let's move on to the question number 143 here. 